Hello friends, welcome to my channel Harshivo EDU. Let's discuss contribution of technical writers in information technology industry. Let's also discuss about document development life cycle and software development life cycle. Let's also compare it. What is document development life cycle? DDLC defines activities performed throughout the document development process. It describes us how a technical document is created by a technical writer. Knowing DDLC is a bliss for every technical writer because a technical writer converts complex information into simple information. DDLC has four phases. Requirement gathering, content writing, content review, content release and maintenance. Let's jump into the details. Requirement gathering. In this phase, we discuss when to start the project, what is the scope of the project, why is it needed, how the things are going to be done in the project, who are the respective team, and what is the deadline. In this phase, the technical writer also discusses about the audience, whether the audience is external or internal, whether the audience knowledge is technical or non-technical. We also discuss about the product and the software knowledge. Uh, if it is a software, we play with the tool. If it is a product, we go through the mockups. And we also discuss about the deliverables. The technical writer decides whether the, the documents that are needed for the project are user guide, online help manual, installation guide, configuration guide, specification sheet, release notes, or something else. The technical writer also plans the document, he creates the table of content, TOC, and the template, and the style guide. Sometimes it is already uh, there in the company, and the technical writing team shares with the other technical writers. Most of the time, we use uh, MSTP style guide for creating the technical document. Next phase is content writing. In this phase, technical writer writes the document. The technical writer covers all the definitions and introduction, step-by-step -step procedures and related information such as glossary, troubleshooting, appendix and so on. Once the document writing is complete, the technical writer reviews the content. So first round is self-review. In this, the technical writer checks about the grammatical error, content, hyperlinks, images. All the hyperlinks should work fine. All the images should pop up at the correct place. Sometimes the technical writer shares the document with other technical writers for peer review. The document also goes to functional team or technical team for technical review. The document goes to QA team for testing review and some, team, some companies have their own subject matter experts like uh, some developers or the functional team for the SME's review. The next is content release and maintenance. Once a document is reviewed, a technical writer fixes the review comments and then releases the document. Post-release, the technical writer work is still on. The technical writer has to check the document quality after release also. It is like they have to check if all the links are coming fine or all the images are coming fine, if the fonts are displaying good. Then the technical writer gives a thumbs up about the document. The technical writer also maintains a common repository for all the technical documents. In some companies it is Jira, in some companies it is SVN, in some companies it is OneHub. Let's discuss about software development lifecycle. SDLC defines activities performed throughout the software development process. The first phase is requirement analysis. In this phase, business analysts gather the business requirement for the system. They write business requirement document BRD and share that with the design team. In design phase, the project managers develop the project plan, including tasks, resources, and the time frame. Then it goes to developers for coding. 
they build the technical architecture database and programming then it goes to QA team for testing the code gets reviewed they perform the testing of the system completely and share the test cases then it goes to deployment team and the deploy in deployment team what they do first they get the document from the technical writer the detailed user document that we create and then release the document and the software application or the product together the next comes maintenance in this we build the help desk to support the system users and maintain the software with the help of technical support system so in the maintenance and development phase the technical writers and the other team works together let's compare ddlc with sdlc in this phase you would get to know the magic of technical writers behind creating error free documents easily for multiple releases and multiple users so my dear friends here you could see in sdlc for requirement analysis we have business analyst for design we have project managers project owners for coding we have developers for code review we have separate testing team for deployment and maintenance also we have separate team in sometimes sometimes in some firms but here in ddlc in all the firms only one technical writer is required to complete all the project so one technical writer performs requirement analysis content writing content review release and maintenance with the respective sdlc team so this is the beauty of technical writer they always make sure that they are with the respective team and they are on the same plate where the other team is working and they also ensure that the error free document is being released on the time thanks for watching please like comment share and subscribe to my channel for more interesting technical writing videos thank you very much